Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Tuesday, October 24th, 2023. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. Yesterday, I had a lunch with an old friend. Now, she listens, so I need to clarify that the friendship is old, not the friend. But we went to Eastport Kitchen, and I have to say I was very surprised. I had one of the best grilled cheese sandwiches I think I've had in a long, long time. Anyhow, we do have some news, so we better get into it, shall we? Following up on a story we first brought you yesterday, we are still trying to find out a little bit more about the man that was arrested for firing shots from his apartment balcony. The outstanding questions we have are why are some people arrested for shots fired and charged with attempted murder? And in this case, he was charged with reckless endangerment. Also trying to find out why that incident is somehow not listed in the Maryland State Judiciary Database. We're going to keep asking. Stay tuned. The Anne Arundel County Police have arrested a 27-year-old Baltimore man and charged him in connection with a ton of thefts from vehicles. They were called to the Holiday Inn Express in Linthicum for a theft in progress, and they did apprehend the man. Through their investigation, he was found to be responsible for another theft from an auto in the area that same day and an even earlier incident where the windows of 20 vehicles were smashed in a Glen Burnie apartment complex. He did steal credit cards and use them as well. All in all, he was charged with 81 separate offenses. Remember that there's road work on the Bay Bridge this week. Today and tomorrow, the eastbound span will close from 8 p.m. until 5 a.m., Thursday from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m., Friday from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m., and then Saturday from 9 p.m. to 8 a.m. The westbound span will be open for that delightful two-way traffic. And as a heads up, they are planning to start a redecking of that span a little bit later on this winter, and that's expected to last into early 2026. So there's a big giant ugh. No big surprise here, but Governor Moore has endorsed Prince George's County County Executive Angela Also Brooks for U.S. Senate. Also, Brooks is looking to take over the seat being vacated by longtime Senator Ben Cardin, who has chosen not to run for re-election next term. Her only legitimate competition on the Democratic side may be David Trone, who is a millionaire and spending a lot of his own money to win that seat. Hey, if you are looking for something fun this month, check out one of Watermark's historic haunting tours. This is a special one. It does include a trip inside of Hogshead, which is supposed to be one of the most haunted buildings in town. And they're only around for a few more days, running Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings, and then a special one on Halloween Eve, which I call Mischief Night, and apparently I'm the only one in Maryland that uses that term. And again, many thanks to all who continue to sign up for our daily news recap. We're trying to grow the subscription base, so if you can, give it a mention to a friend or a neighbor or a colleague. And if you aren't receiving it, there's a link right here in the show notes to subscribe. It's free, it's short and sweet, it comes to your email inbox every day at 7 p.m. And unlike many of the other local news sources in the region, no pesky paywalls. As we start to close, today is Ticket Tuesday and Ram's Head on stage has hooked us all up once again. And here's what I have left until I get my stash refreshed. Firefall on October 27th. And I'll tell you, you want to check out that podcast I did with Jock Bartley. That is going to be one great show. And I do also have tickets to see comedian Robert Klein on the 28th. Also should be a great show. Now, I'm going to give these ones on a first come first serve basis. So if you are interested, get in touch with me the sooner the better. And be sure to check out ramsheadonstage.com for some amazing shows on deck. And again, as always, huge thanks to Rams Head On Stage for doing this for us every single Tuesday. All right, that's a wrap. But first, a quick thank you to you for listening and sharing and letting your friends and colleagues all know about us and to our sponsors for the Daily News Brief. Annapolis Subaru, the SPCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, Hospice of the Chesapeake, Scout and Molly's, and Alpha Engineering. 
So now you just need to hang tight because we have George Young from DCMD VA Weather standing by with the only locally forecast weather report you will find. All that's coming up for you in just a bit. Advanced illness decisions aren't always easy. Hospice of the Chesapeake, your hometown hospice, wants you to know you do have a choice over who provides care, what type of care, and when and where your loved one receives that care. Learn more at hospicechesapeake.org. Ready for a new look for those end-of-summer parties? Come see us at Scout Molly's. I'm Betsy Abraham. My mom and I own and operate this great little boutique at the Annapolis Town Center. Come enjoy a fun, in-person shopping experience with a bonus, real customer service. We'd love to help you pick out the perfect outfit for back-to-school Annapolis boat shows and nights out with your friends. Scout and Molly's, Annapolis Town Center. Thanks for shopping local. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Tuesday, October 24th. Pretty nice day yesterday for the Annapolis region, despite the chilly start. And while it's very cool out there again this morning, temps are going to be above average through the weekend. Look for sunny highs today in the mid to upper 60s after a frosty morning today, with a frost advisory in effect for temps in the upper 30s. From there, it's more sunshine tomorrow through Sunday with highs in the low to mid 70s Wednesday, mid to upper 70s on Thursday and upper 70s to maybe lower 80s in spots Friday and Saturday with temperatures staying in the mid 70s or so on Sunday to close out the weekend. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe and be sure to follow DC MDVA Weather on Facebook and X for regular updates each day along with the website at dcmdvaweather.info. So you can always stay weather informed. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years, and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. The benefits of a good night's sleep are well documented. Sleeping well prevents weight gain, improves concentration and creativity, and boosts the immune system. So, what keeps you up at night? If you run a business, then the security of your computer network may be one of those things. Threats like ransomware and phishing are becoming increasingly sophisticated and pose a real risk to any business. Don't let these cyber threats keep you up at night. At Alpha, they've been helping their customers sleep better for over 30 years by monitoring in real time and hardening network defenses. And for those irritating IT issues that arise every day, Alpha's just a phone call away. Helping your business run smoothly and helping you sleep better knowing Alpha is on guard. Give Alpha a call to see if they can ease your worries and help you get the rest you deserve. Find them at alphagetsit.com. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Ion Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.